Okay, y'all, so Kid Cudi had the time this New Year's. <laughs> he was dra- he was in the dragging spirit. He was in the dragging mood. Y- y'all talk about the Christmas spirit? He was in the dragon spirit. <laughs> let's, let's talk about it. All the real niggas, they walk with a switch. So when that's when they take in a pick. Tells on the wall when I step in the mix. Okay, so the issue at hand, this one guy on Twitter, I don't know who he is. The girl, don't ask me nothing. This one guy on Twitter brought up this SNL performance that Kid Cudi did years ago, right? And he said this, Kid Cudi participating in an Illuminati humiliation ritual. Is the fame and fortune worth it? We want answers. (laughs) And so Kid Cudi saw it and responded. But before I show you what he said, I want to say that I always think the Illuminati conspiracy theories are so funny. (laughs) I think it's one of the funniest ones out there, actually, because I think the gist of it is that there there's a secret group of rich people like from entertainers to prominent celebrities or whatever politicians who control the world in hiding. Right. And apparently you got to do these weird rituals and stuff to get in or whatever. I think that's like a real basic uh, overview of what it is. I don't know. Last time I heard of that shit was. When I was in like eighth grade and they was talking about that shit over around the lunch tables, I was like, girl, y'all sound really fucking stupid. And even back then, I was like, girl, this sounds really dumb. Um, so yeah, that's that's kind of what they think about the Illuminati or whatever. And first of all, I'm just like, girl, if this group, if this Illuminati group is so secret and so secretive and shit, I'm like, how the hell do y'all know about its existence, its alleged existence? <laughs> I'm like, y'all really think y'all Inspector Gadget or FBI or CIA or some shit? Like, y'all really, think, y'all really think y'all uncovering something? That's the first thing. The second thing is that if you're looking for a group of rich people who control the world, just look outside, girls. <laughs> just look outside. Are you serious? The rich people who currently control the world are not hiding that shit. They are exploiting and bombing and looting and genociding right in front of our faces so i always found that funny because i'm just like y'all looking for a big bad boogeyman that's hiding in a cave and the girl they like chilling on an island somewhere <laughs> literally girl that list about to come out <laughs> they chilling on the island they chilling on mr mr mama's island girl they chilling in a in a jet they sitting in a, in these uh government buildings <laughs> they sitting on thrones and shit bitch what you talking about? Oh, this secret group. We got to look. We got to keep our eyes peeled for a secret group that everybody knows about. Like, <laughs> ain't so secret. Anyway, anyway, it's also so interesting to watch men tie femininity to weakness and embarrassment, right? Because he said, oh, this is a humiliation ritual. That's what the guy said. That Just because Kid Cudi is wearing a damn dress. <laughs> it's humiliating. It's disturbing. It's disgusting. Um, so it's interesting to see that. I also think it's interesting to observe the tie that dresses have to femininity in society, right? And how society desperately tries to maintain those ties in ways that are similar to this guy's tweet trying to, you know, call Kid Cudi out. But that's a whole other video. <laughs> that's a whole other video. Anyway, at the end of the day, clothing is just pieces of thread that you wear uh, and y'all just gonna have to get over it and deal with it. Not that it needs any explanation, but Kid Cudi, the reason why he wore the floral dress during his performance of the song Sad People on Saturday Night Live was because it was a tribute to Kurt Cobain. He also wore a green cardigan on the show. Both ensembles rocks were a nod to Cobain. So yeah, it didn't need to be explained. If Kid Cudi wanted to get out there and wear a damn tutu, y'all gonna sit back and watch. That's just that, that's just it. And I will I'm gonna watch. First of all, let's talk about how fine this man is. Let's not <laughs> let's be clear on that. I don't care if he's wearing a dress, I don't care if he's wearing a goddamn burlap sack. I don't care if he come out here in a sleeping bag, bitch. The man gonna be fine and talented. So I don't know what to tell y'all. I don't know what to tell y'all, but Kid Cudi definitely did. He responded to this shit by saying, Dear Isaac, you silly, stupid little person and all the people under this post, it's the start of a new year and I got time for MFs like you today. This post is mad fucking lame of you and sad. A black man can't express himself and be confident and successful. He said, he he made sure to highlight that shit, and successful without it being some conspiracy. My success was given to me by God with the help of many angels. All you people in the comments that have been tweeting me all day about this shit can gargle on my mayo and 
honestly, I feel like I'm going to use that phrase. Thank you so much for putting that in my vocabulary because I'm going to use that phrase. Gargle on my mayo. Um, <laughs> this moment was a proud moment for me, a shining moment for all people who express themselves in their art. I felt free and alive. It inspired people and nothing you stupid, simple asses can say can take that away from me. Happy New Year, you fucking simps. <laughs> I'm so glad he dragged y'all. I'm so glad he clocked it because, and I said this on Twitter, imagine if instead of a video of Kid Cudi in a dress, it was a video of two niggas fighting, right? Imagine that. Imagine what the comments would be. Kiki in, the comments would be Kiki in, laughing and giggling. Oh my God, bitch, did you see that shit? Bitch, this bitch beat his ass. Girl, we would see that shit. We have seen it many times on social media. We see it all the time. Um, now, a nigga in a dress performing his song on a fucking show, that's the, that's the thing that's disgusting, right? Not the niggas that's beating each other's asses and making each other bleed on the fucking concrete and shit. It's a nigga in a dress singing his fucking song in front of, in front of the nation. That's, that's what is destroying the community, right? Instead of you Nick Knox knocking on each other's foreheads and shit. Like, really, ain't no way uh, the, the pattern of some threads, the way that uh, some threads were put together uh, is getting y'all this mad. Like, it can't, it, that really can't be it, girl. And like, even back then when he um, initially did it, I think it was like 2020 or 2021, it was backlash even then. And I'm just like, y'all are just going to have to get over it. <laughs> y'all are going to have to get over it. I don't know what to tell you. It's so funny to watch people call it embarrassing, humiliating, a humiliation ritual, because like you cannot, e you could not imagine why somebody would want to wear what they want to wear, do what they want to do. Obviously, it has to be for for humiliation reasons. It, they, they, I would be embarrassed to walk around and do what I want to do and wear the things I want to wear because my homies would make fun of me. So, you know, if, if Kid Cudi's doing it, obviously it has to be for a reason. It, it, it has to be because he, he wants to be embarrassed. It has to be because it's some humiliation thing that's that's been going on in the deep, dark caves of the Illuminati. It's just like, girl, or he just thought that shit was cute and put it on. Do you see how simple expressing yourself could be? You thought that shit was cute. You could purchase the whole, you, it didn't matter what side of the store it came from, bitch. And meanwhile, he not, can Cuddy not get his, his shit from the store, girl. He, he's having somebody design that shit or sending send that shit to him, right? You see how simple that was? It didn't matter what people were saying, what a society told him he should, shouldn't like. He put on what the fuck he thought was cute and he went outside, he went outside and performed his song that you listened to. He don't know your name at all. Girl, and he set his ass back down. Do you see how simple it could be? And I think that's the real reason why y'all be so mean and nasty is because y'all be, want, some of these people be wanting to express themselves in, uh, it might not be put on a dress or, or it might be, but some of these guys, some of these motherfuckers be wanting to express themselves in different ways. But like I said, they scared that they homeboys, they scared that they, you know, they niggas gonna make fun of them. And then when they see someone else doing it, instead of saying, oh my goodness, like, that's so cool. Let me see, you know, like, let me observe. Let me see what's going on. Instead of saying, oh, wow, how did they reach that level of expressing, expressing themselves, bitch? They want to turn it around and be mean and nasty. But girl, we see right through that shit. I'm glad Kid Cudi dragged your ass. And we need more of that in 2024. If you like it, put it on. Wear it, girl. Because like I said, I say all the time, high heels were first made for men. <laughs> they had remember they had them old wigs that they used to wear them old dusty ass cobweb filled ass wigs they used to be wearing in them fucking uh government builders girl with the with them slave teeth in their mouth girl wear what you want to wear explore your fashion because somebody gonna say it's feminine today then it's masculine tomorrow 10 years ago it was masculine but now it's feminine oh now you can't wear this because that well if they think it's it's feminine now but it's gonna be masculine a little bit later girl all this should be moving and don't mean it it's really all this shit is fake do what you want to do, wear what you want to wear, and that's it. Love y'all so much. Thank you so much for watching the video. And make sure that you have a good goddamn evening. Only insecure, they don't control me. I ain't the only person that hold and worship me. Yeah, you can blow me. I ain't the only, you so lonely. Insecure, they don't control me. Control me, troll me, boy, you can't control me. Troll me, troll me, I wasted.